right. Clearly, I went to Aldi. It's going to be an Aldi haul. Again, like in my previous video, we're trying to be healthier this year and well healthier now and forever if there's background noise i have two doggies with me but uh, i wanted to show y'all how you can eat healthy and balanced and get your groceries cheaper from aldi so we'll do a quick haul i mainly got more so produce and some proteins as well also stocking up the freezer a little bit so we'll just jump right into it. Let's start with the miscellaneous. I got this gluten-free functional protein bar. It is the golden vanilla cream flavor. It has a golden Oreo on the back. That really sold me. <laughs> I think just having something like this in my work snack cubicle will be very helpful. I feel like by the end of the day, I'm always looking for a protein bar or something else to eat. Also got this citronella candle. It's a citronella and lemon balm. Let me know in the comments if you like citronella. I feel like that's either you like it or you hate it. I like the smell of it and it keeps bugs away. I know since it's gonna get warmer out, we're going to be on our deck more and I think this would be nice to have. Also got these dog treats. My dog Mochi loves these. And then I also got a plant pot. What do you think about this plant pot? I like that it actually had drainage. Normally plant pots don't have drainage and we have the ability to drill holes in ours, but I thought this was fun. This was $5 and it was kind of a funky design. They had other planters that color. So they had more than one design to choose from. All right, now let's get into everything food. I don't think there's a category to go off of, but I got a lot of produce. First thing, spinach. Also got kiwis. This is a really good staple, I feel. I like to just chop these up and then have them in little containers for work, but they're really fun. And since they have a lot of seeds, it's where I can get some fiber. I got unsalted pistachios. I think I'll keep this in my snack cubicle at work. I love these bite-sized potatoes. Y'all know that where the skin is, that's where you get most fiber. And I just like how they're so tiny. So I definitely wanna cook with these. Got some broccoli heads or broccoli crowns. Really excited. Is that, that kind of goes well with my shirt. I don't know why I'm putting it here, but it looks like this is kind of green when I'm watching this, but this is yellow and this is green. Yellow. It looks like spring to me, but yeah. And then I also got fat-free refried beans. I feel like these are great for our taco nights, but with taco, like taco Tuesday, I feel like I get burnt out pretty easily. So I haven't bought refried beans in a while and I thought it was time. Good source of protein and healthy fats. All right. These mini sweet peppers, they are really annoying to chop up just because they're so tiny and you know, you could just buy a bigger bell pepper. But I realized I like to eat these as a side item. Like when I do my little wraps, I have these on the side, like one or two. And you can eat this like an apple and really get your fiber in. So I do enjoy doing that. You can get the seedless or non-seedless. It doesn't really matter to me, but I'm really starting to like these this summer, or I guess it's spring. <laughs> I love a good lox bagel, and I like getting all these um, cold smoked salmon, cold smoked Atlantic salmon. And I like putting that on a wheat bagel with some chive and onion cream cheese, or just regular cream cheese with capers. And so this will last me uh, one, no, this will last me two bagels total for my husband and I. That's a really good snack. I think I'll make this today. I love pepper jack cheese. If I have to pick a cheese for my sandwiches, I always pick pepper jack cheese. It's just really fun. It's not that spicy, but it adds a good flavor. I splurged a little and I got steelhead trout. Let's see, this is 
$10.79 per pound, which is pretty expensive. But I did want to splurge. Um, my husband's been working overtime a lot, and this is really a nice fish between, you know, just getting salmon or a different type of fish. This is fancier, I think. Um, and if you've never had steelhead trout, I feel like it'd be very comparable to salmon. So if you like salmon, you've never had steelhead trout, I recommend giving it a try. Aldi had these, or this roasted garlic hummus, and it had the roasted garlic right there. It looks so good. Do you like garlic? I feel like I could just eat garlic. Well, maybe not raw, but it's just so good on everything, if you can have it. I know some people can't have it, but... Yeah, I love hummus. I just, I feel like I go in periods again where I eat it and then I don't and then I eat it. So time to eat it again. <laughs> That's a good segue into this vanilla Greek yogurt. Two grams of sugar per serving, but it says for every three fourths cup. Oh, I get it. Cause they did the net carbs. Yep. So every three fourths cup of yogurt is two grams of sugar. I like this. Um, I'm really trying to up my probiotics like I've told y'all before. So this is a great way for me to get that in and get some protein. I did get tofu. It's a pretty good deal at Aldi. I've seen a lot of recipes on TikTok and Facebook Reels to freeze your tofu and then thaw it out. And that'll give you a really meaty texture for when you are cooking and trying to imitate meat. Like if you're trying to make your own chicken nuggets or something. So I do want to try that. We've been integrating our own cheese. So I got mild cheddar cheese. This toasted ravioli was on sale. <laughs> and my dad, he really loves toasted ravioli. And I think I, I told y'all in another video that he did pass last year. So I thought this was more of a fun thing to eat. Remember him because he loves toasted ravioli. So, and it was on sale. It was $2. I think it's normally four to five there. I don't know if they were just trying to get rid of it or they're just gonna continuing it. But yeah, this is pretty good. I could eat breakfast for dinner all the time or just breakfast for all of my meals. And I saw this, these veggie breakfast patties. It also said, what did it, seasoned with herbs and spices. So I was excited to try that. I typically like maple flavored plant-based meats or just maple flavored meats, but I wanna try this. I found that I like savory breakfasts over sweet breakfasts, which is surprising to me because I have a really big sweet tooth. But also got a black bean burger. You know, because it's getting nice out, I feel like I've been wanting, you know, all the grilled foods, all the barbecue foods or what have you. So this sounds, fun to me. This was interesting. <laughs> what is, what, let me see what this is called. Cheese and dill salmon wellington. So if you know like a beef wellington that has multiple components in it, I kind of don't remember what's in a beef wellington, but this is salmon, cheese, and dill wrapped in a puffed pastry. I thought that was interesting. I find that after work, I kind of just want to put a protein in the oven and not nurture something on the stove or what have you. So I'm curious about this. I'm hoping it saves me time, you know, during the work week. And then they had cream cheese wontons. You can never go wrong with these. They just remind me of, you know, crab ragoons or cream cheese ragoon. I love these. I've never had them from Aldi though. Ooh, these were on sale. I forget how much, but these Nature Sweet Cherubs. I used to hate tomatoes, but ever since I've had cherry tomatoes or these types of tomatoes, I feel like I love it. I think one of my favorite lunches are tuna salad with the multi-grain seed crackers and these, and it's so good. Although sometimes at work, I pop them in my mouth and if you bite into it, it just squirts <laughs> tomato juice everywhere. So I've gotten, I sprayed my work area a couple times, but now I know to just close my mouth after eating it. Also got raspberries, I love berries. And we have a blackberry bush. So I'm gonna keep that container so I can reuse that and pass out berries. Lastly, I got this Seedtastic bread. And I really liked it because it said 13 grams of whole grains. 
three grams of fiber, six grams of protein. So I'm really excited about that. I cannot find my receipt. I will put the receipt total down below or in the next, um, in the next. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all need to really go to Aldi. I feel like I've really saved a lot of money. This was the first time that I spent less than $100, but every time I go to the store, it's always at least $100. So um, definitely go to your your other stores like Aldi or the generic stores, get the generic brands. Everything's getting so expensive. So, all right. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Three grams of fiber, six.